Okay, so because I'm afraid I'm going to forget what I just did, I was able to somehow, uh, trial and error, hook up my Zoom R24 uh, to my Mac iMac and uh, connect it to GarageBand so that I could basically record audio. And it's also, I'm using it in QuickTime to record this screen uh, video um, uh, so that I can... Uh, Re use the this microphone instead of the computer's microphone to record screen capture and stuff like that. So I just want to kind of make sure I understand what I did. So uh, in um, I am using the, on the R24. I plugged the microphone into input number two, and I have the gain all the way up to a, a, a mic, kind of like almost five thirty or so, six o'clock. Just turn all the way over to the mic. Uh, the slider for number two, all the sliders are basically all the way down and off. I'm, there, I'm not using them. But I had to, uh, I had to uh, plug the R24 into the USB on the computer. And then I, there's a button on the R24 that says USB. And uh, I clicked that button and I, I selected audio interface. Uh, and then I, I don't remember what, new, new or something like that, and execute. So it was the audio interface. And then in GarageBand, uh, I'll show you here. I'm in GarageBand now. Let's go to GarageBand. So up here in the preferences, I had to make sure that the output is going to be the system setting. So when I play back, uh, it's going to play back through the speakers of the computer. But the input, I, it, I now have it so I can choose this Zoom 24, R24. Oops. So make sure that's selected there. And then, uh, then uh, I, I, I added this new track here. I don't know if I can see this. I added a new track, uh, just called an Audio 11. And uh, let me add a, when I add a new track, you click on this. I clicked on the microphone thing. And then you want to make sure that it's, it's adding the input to. Um, so that's going to pull it from input to on the, on the uh, R24. And then made sure that it was connected to the R24 and said create. So now I have audio 12. You can see the recording level there. But you can change these. I think I can you know, tweak this. Um, so now if I were to start recording, I'm not sure if I'd get feedback or not, but it should record a, a new track here. And this here is the track that I just recorded a minute ago. Um, and I think that's it. It worked. Oh, and then in QuickTime, so I'll go down here on the bottom here to the to my startup QuickTime player. Uh, and I, I don't think it's going to be able to show me because I, I, I said new screen recording, but since I'm recording right now. Uh, and then when you're in that menu, you there's a little, let's see if, let's see if, uh, back to QuickTime and see if I can do this. Let's, let's just assume I click new screen recording and this would say new screen recording. Let's click this drop down box and make sure that it's on Zoom R24. And then after that, then you hit this record button and then there's a something popped up in the middle of the screen there. We're going to close that. That's pretty much it. Uh, and there are a couple of really good YouTube videos. Uh, I think I'll save to my favorites. Uh, this guy was pretty good. So hope that works. And then when you're up here, on the, when you're done recording on the t way top of the screen here, you click.